Welcome to Maths Companion. Let us recall what we have learned in the last video. We have seen that tan of an angle is opposite side by adjacent side. We have also learned that the value of tan 30 is 1 by root 3, the value of tan 45 is 1 and the value of tan 60 is root 3. There was a homework. Let us check the answer now. Three rectangles are to be cut along the diagonals and the triangles so got rearranged to form a regular pentagon as shown in the picture. If the sides of the pentagon are to be 30 cm, what should be the length and breadth of the rectangles? This rectangle is cut along the diagonal and the triangles are placed here. This triangle is placed here and this triangle is flipped and placed here. Similarly, these rectangles are cut along the diagonals and the triangles are placed here and another pair of triangles are placed here. This is the length and breadth of the rectangle. You can see it here. This is the length of the rectangle and this is the breadth of the large rectangle. Similarly, this is the length and breadth of the small rectangle. That is, this is the length and breadth of the small rectangle. Also, you can see that these two triangles are equal because they are triangles obtained from the rectangle by cutting it along the diagonal. Similarly, these two triangles are also equal. That means these two triangles are equal, these two triangles are equal and these two triangles are also equal. Now, let us take our regular pentagon. Let us give a name for this regular pentagon. Let it be A, B, C, D, E. Let us give a name for these points. Let it be P and Q. Given that it is a regular pentagon, means all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. Given that the sides are equal to 30 centimeters. So this is 30 centimeter, this is 30 centimeter and all these sides are 30 centimeters. Now what is the angle of a regular pentagon? It is 108 degree. Therefore, angle E is 108 degree. Now, we know these two triangles are equal. Therefore, these two angles are also equal. So, each of them is equal to 54 degree. That means, this angle is 54 degree. Now, look at triangle APE. This angle is 54 degree. We need to find this side, which is the opposite side of this angle. And this side is given, that is the hypotenuse. What is the ratio of opposite side and hypotenuse? That is sine. So let us take sine 54. Sine 54 is opposite side by hypotenuse or PA by AE. The value of sine 54 is 0 0.8090 and AE is 30 centimeters. Replacing the values we can write 0 0.8090 is equal to PA by 30. Taking 30 on the other side, we can write PA equal to 0 0.8090 into 30. Multiplying, we get 24.27 centimeters. That is, this length is 24.27 centimeters or length of the small rectangle is 24.27 centimeters. Now, let us find this length, that is the breadth of the small rectangle. Based on this angle, it is the adjacent side. And this is the hypotenuse. The ratio between the adjacent side and hypotenuse is cos. So let us take cos 54. Cos 54 is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse or PE by AE. The value of cos 54 is 0.5878 and AE is 30. Replacing the values we can write 0.5878 equal to PE by 30. Taking 30 on the other side, we can write PE equal to 0.5878 into 30. Multiplying, we get 17.634. We can write it approximately as 17.63 centimeters. That is, this length is 17.63 centimeters or breadth of the small rectangle is 17.63 centimeters. Therefore, we can say Sides of the small rectangle are 24.27 cm and 17.63 cm. Now we have to find the sides of the large rectangle. These are the triangles obtained from the large rectangle. 
and we know they are equal. Let us give a name for this point. Let it be R. Now this is a right angle triangle. This angle is 90 degree. This is 54. Then what is this angle? 90 minus 54 or 36 degree. We know all angles of the regular pentagon are 108 degrees. So this total angle is 108 degree. Then what is this angle? 108 minus 36 or 72 degree. Now AR and BR are equal because they are breadth of the rectangle. So they are equal. That means AR equal to 15 and BR equal to 15. Now look at triangle ARD. This angle is 72 degree and AR is 15 centimeters. We need to find RD that is the opposite side of this angle and we know the length of AR which is the adjacent side and the ratio between opposite side and adjacent side is tan. So let us take tan 72 that is opposite side by adjacent side or RD by AR. The value of tan 72 is 3.0777 and AR is 15. Replacing the values we can write 3.0777 equal to RD by 15. Taking 15 on the other side we can write RD equal to 3.0777 into 15. Multiplying we get 46.16 Five, five. We can take it approximately as 46.17 centimeters. That is, this length is 46.17 centimeters, or length of the larger rectangle is 46.17 centimeters. We have already got breadth of the larger rectangle as 15 centimeters. So we can say sides of the larger rectangle are 46.17 centimeters and 15 centimeters. Now let us do the remaining problems on page 117. Fourth problem. In the picture, the vertical lines are equally spaced. Prove that their heights are in arithmetic sequence. What is the common difference? Let us give a name for the vertical lines and this point. Let this be P. Let this vertical line be AB. And let this be CD. Let this be EF and let this be GH. Given that the vertical lines are equally spaced, that means the distance between these vertical lines are equal. Let the distance between adjacent vertical lines be X. Then this is X. This is also X. This is also X. Now consider the right angle triangle PAB. This angle is 40 degree. Let us take tan 40. Tan 40 is opposite side by adjacent side or AB by AP. Taking AP on the other side, we can write AB equal to AP into tan 40 or AP tan 40. Now consider the right angle triangle PCD. Consider this angle which is the opposite side CD and which is the adjacent side PC and that is equal to AP plus AC or AP plus X. So we can write tan 40 equal to CD by AP plus X. Taking AP plus X on the other side we can write CD equal to AP plus X into tan 40. And this is equal to AP into tan 40 plus X into tan 40. Now look at AB and CD. This is AP tan 40. This is AP tan 40 plus X tan 40. That means X tan 40 is added to AB to get CD. Now let us take the next right angle triangle PEF. Based on this angle, EF is the opposite side and what is the adjacent side PE and that is equal to AP plus X plus X or AP plus 2X. Therefore tan 40 equal to EF by AP plus 2X. Taking AP plus 2X on the other side we can write 
e f equal to a p plus 2 x into tan 40. Multiplying we get a p into tan 40 plus 2 x into tan 40. 2 x tan 40 means x tan 40 plus x tan 40. That means we got e f by adding x tan 40 to c d. Now consider the next right angle triangle p g h. Based on this angle the opposite side is g h. What is the adjacent side? p g. And that is equal to a p plus x plus x plus x or a p plus 3 x. Therefore tan 40 equal to g h by a p plus 3 x. Taking a p plus 3 x on the other side we can write g h equal to a p plus 3 x into tan 40. Multiplying we get a p into tan 40 plus 3 x into tan 40. 3 x into tan 40 means 2 x into tan 40 plus x tan 40. That means x tan 40 is added to e f to get g h. So we have seen that x tan 40 is added to a b to get c d. Again x tan 40 is added to c d to get e f. Again x tan 40 is added to e f to get g h. Therefore the length of these vertical lines are in arithmetic sequence and the common difference is x tan 40. Next problem. One side of a triangle is 6 cm and the angles at its ends are 40 degree and 65 degree. Calculate its area. Let us draw the triangle at first. One side is 6 cm and angles at the ends are 40 degree and 65 degree. Let us give a name for this triangle. Let it be triangle ABC. We need to find the area of this triangle. We know area of a triangle is half BH where B is a side and H is the height to that side. Here the side BC is given as 6 cm. So we can take it as B. Then H is the perpendicular from A to BC. Let us draw the perpendicular from A to BC. Let it meet BC at D. In order to find the area of this triangle, we need the length of AD. Let us take the length of BD as X. Since BC is 6 cm, CD is 6 minus X cm. Now look at triangle ABD. It's a right angle triangle and this angle is 40 degree. AD is the opposite side and BD is the adjacent side. Let us take tan 40 that is opposite side by adjacent side or AD by BD. The value of tan 40 is 0 0.8391 and BD is taken as X. So we can write this as 0 0.8391 equal to AD by X. Taking X on the other side we can write this as AD equal to 0 0.8391 X. Now look at the second triangle ADC. This angle is 65 degree. AD is the opposite side and CD is the adjacent side. Therefore tan 65 equal to AD by CD. The value of tan 65 is 2.1445 and CD is 6 minus X. Replacing the values we can write 2.1445 equal to AD by 6 minus X. Taking 6 minus 6 on the other side we can write AD equal to 2.1445 into 6 minus X. We have got AD equal to 0.8391X. Now we have got AD equal to 2.1445 into 6 minus X. That means these two are equal or 0.8391X equal to 2.1445 into 6 minus X. Let us multiply. This can be written as 2.1445 into 6 minus 2.1445 into x. Now let us take the term containing x on the other side. So we can write 0.8391x plus 2.1445x equal to 2.1445 into 6. 
adding these two we get 2.9836x and multiplying these two we get 12.867 so we can write this as 2.9836x equal to 12.867 now let us find the value of x for that let us take 2.9836 on the other side so we can write x equal to 12.867 divided by 2.9836 we can take this approximately as 4.31 that is the value of x is approximately equal to 4.31 centimeters we have already seen that ad equal to 0.8391 x we can give the value of x in that ad equal to 0.8391 x and x equal to 4.31 therefore this can be written as 0.8391 x into 4.31 multiplying we get 3.616521 we can take it approximately as 3.6 now we got h so we can find the area now area equal to half bh b is 6 cm and h is 3.6 cm so we can write this as half into 6 into 3.6 half into 6 is 3 so this can be written as 3 into 3.6 multiplying we get 10.8 that means the area of this triangle is 10.8 cm square today we have discussed the questions on page 117 in the next video we shall discuss the next section distances and heights till then bye